Happy Sunday folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Keith and you're watching Come On The Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, please hit the subscribe button below, a thumbs up or a comment below on the video. It would be absolutely fantastic. So, big game today at Celtic Park. 3 o'clock kickoff against the Jambos Hearts. Now Hearts are coming back from a European hangover. They got beaten by Zurich 2-1 on Thursday night in the Europa League playoff. They've been having a decent season so far. They're sitting toward in the table, two wins and a draw in there. Robbie Nielsen is obviously going to be pushing to put, try to get Hearts to second place this season, which is a lot to ask for. But the last time we played them, we beat them 4-1, just around the split. They obviously took the lead in the third minute and we just went on and dominated the game. And just first competitive game for Celtic in the league was a defeat at Tynecastle to Hearts 2-1. And then we went on and played them five times that season. We beat them four times. We even beat them in the League Cup as well. So I'm optimistic about today. I think obviously a full house will smash them. No question about it. They will give us problems. But overall, I think the way we've been playing football recently, especially against Kamarnock, was unbelievable. And against Ross County. So my starting lineup is going to be Joe Hart and goal. Right back, Josef Vianovic. Left back, Greg Taylor. I think Greg Taylor is basically cementing his position in this team and he's been playing well since the start of the season and even last season towards the end of last season he was playing remarkable Alessandro Berabeo he's basically available we all know what happened last Sunday so we're not going to be here to talk about that situation all he can do is show for work put the hard work in and prove people wrong simple as that centre back I'll go with Maurice Jens I think Maurice Jens has been phenomenal since he stepped into the team since he came got his transfer from all rent, he's low milf. And okay, let, let him keep scoring goals. His goal last week against Killy was unbelievable. So I got my Carter Vickers in there. Callum McGregor. I'm going to go with David Hornbull, Matt Riley. I know Ria Tate is available after he's been injured for the last two games. He's available. Right wing, Jota. Left wing, Moyeda. And then up front, Kyogo. I think Jack Amakis will come off the bench. See the likes of Jamesy Forrest coming off the bench today. Aaron Moy, second half, if we're winning the game, he'll bring him on. And in regards to, I could see Mikey Johnson might even get a game today as well, come off the bench as well. Carl Stalfeld will be available on the bench, hopefully. My score predictions for today, I'm going to go 4 0 Celtic. I think two goals from Koyogo, fancy a goal from Callum McGregor, and a goal from Jota, another screamer from Jota. So 4 0 today, I'm going Celtic. Let us know in the comments what the score is going to be in your mind. And once we take these three points and capitalise from Rangers dropping points yesterday, it means that we're going to start building this gap. It's going to be a massive gap, hopefully. A massive, massive gap. But I'll speak to you all soon. I'll be back for a post-match reaction. And take care. Hell, hell.